Welcome to this tutorial video on uh, adding lines of GraphQL to your map in QGIS. So here we are, we've got our project. Um, just to remind you of the uh, projection um, we're working in is this um, NSIDC polar stereographic model. Um, I've applied a rotation here. Um, north is pretty much facing up. So let's make a map of this. I'm going to add lines of GraphQL. So let's go for a new print layout. I'm going to call this uh, GraphQL demo. And I'm going to add in our map like so. Um, <clears throat> let's. You'll notice that the rotation hasn't been passed through, so we'll rotate that. Maybe 63 degrees or so. Oh, there we go. Let's um, just for the purposes of rotation and understanding where we are, let's just add in a north arrow. You can uh, we can always get rid of that later. Because the thing is with this in QJS, it's quite odd. Once you're in the layout, then everything's in a grid. Um, true north is of course where you want your north arrow to go. Um, so you may have found that when you add a grid to your uh, map layout then uh, you, you sort of try and label the uh, label the coordinates it, it, it doesn't show for, uh, for these non-standard projections it kind of looks it takes the grid of the, uh, the page so there isn't an easy way of doing this using the uh, the grid um, tool. What we're going to do instead then is go to the natural uh, earth web page and here's a load of resources and um, we can look at the uh, the oceans, the uh, the land, um, but the one we want here is the uh, the graticules. Um, go ahead and download all of them and it includes the graphical lines for 1 degrees, 5, 10, and so on and so forth. Um, and as well, whilst you're here, you might want to download the um, oceans or landmarks because we can use that to create a nice um, insert uh, map. So, download that, um, get your map to, uh, to how you want it to, uh, to show, the map extent, and then we'll uh, We'll go back to Q actually, and we'll add in our uh, layers that we've just downloaded. So you have to you have to add those um, vector layers. They come in a, in a zip file, so you can download those. Here I've got Graticules all. So if we go ahead and add like the uh, one degree lines of Graticules, we can add them as a shape file um, in in uh, in Q. And there we are. They're added to our um, a map. Um, we can uh, change the way they uh, they appear here if we want. So I might just make it slightly opaque. Oh, this is slightly. This subtle kind of change. Um, but we can also label these a uh, single label, and we can look at the um, degrees. And if we press apply here, then you'll see those are added. Um, what we can do is add a, um, add a shadow. Um, it's a bit better. We can also add a buffer. That's a bit better. I might just make it a little bit bigger actually. For the purposes of the demo. Okay. Great. So, I mean, we've added graphical lines to our uh, map. It's a bit of a cheat, but I can't work out another way of doing it in uh, in QJS. We can refresh this, and there we are. We've got our graphical lines added. Um, the thing is with this, if you try and add them on the outside of the map frame, then QJS just considers everything outside of that map frame to not exist, and the grid frame here was kind of scared to the page so this is the only way I sort of managed to to get it to work but um but there you have a solution 
adding graphical lines to your uh, map. 